Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful paper tulips using my Cricut machine. Welcome back or welcome to my studio. I am Odie. Let's get started. This is the way it goes. If you have a Cricut machine, you have to have access to this and it's through projects. When you go through projects, you can search by categories or in this case, I'm searching just the word tulips and it's going to give me all that they have with tulips and I'm going to go with a 3D tulip. What I love about this project is that it's giving you everything. It's giving you dimensions, description, all the materials. You can even print the description and all the supply list. You can even buy the material through here. You don't need to, but they give you the option and it's awesome. Now, the most important part that I like is that it's giving you the instructions on how to assemble it. You see that it's giving you visuals as well. And that for me, it's very good. You see how everything's going to be put together. And it's awesome. Now this requires you to have a membership and they charge you for a yearly subscription, but it's like endless, the options that they give you. Now I'm going to go to customize and here you're going to be able to see how everything's going to be looking and the size of the project. Let me just back up so you can see better. As you can see, it's the size of projects 10 by almost 14. Now, when you go and select make it, it's going to assign all the pieces by color. And this is great because then you can see if you have the right size cardstock for each color and everything's good everything fits in the 12 by 12 inches standard mat size so I'm ready to hit continue and load the paper and select the material the machine asks you step by step everything I'm selecting cardstock and I'm selecting the pressure to more. I will select pressure more to make sure that everything cuts fine. The first cardstock that's cutting is the pink one for the petals. And like I mentioned, it will tell you step by step what to do, when to load the paper, when to unload. Now I loaded the brown cardstock to cut the middle part of the tulips. As you can see, I have a stylist on the letter A casing, and that is for scurrying. It's a scoring stylus that helps when you need to mark specific areas in the cardstock to be able to then fold them. This project doesn't require any scoring, but I have it set already because I'm cutting different flower types later on to help a friend decorate a preschool classroom for the spring. I am going to take pictures so I can share with you next week. Now the last thing to do is to load the cardstock for the leaves and then I'll be done with this tulip. But I want to share with you how you can change the size of the tulips so you can cut bigger sizes, especially that this is to decorate a preschool. So I want to be able to have different sizes of flowers 
for the bulletin boards and the display. So here you check the size, right? When you go into your Canva and then you can pull the handle here on the bottom right and make it bigger. Okay, so that's going to allow you to make it bigger but in proportion. So you enlarge everything together. Now let's hit make it and the machine is going to give you a message saying that you have an item, something that is bigger, right? That it's going to require you a, a mat that is bigger. So you select now the method of cutting that your machine requires. In my case, it's on a mat. So I select on mat. And then very important to select the size of the mat. I have a 12 by 24 mat for bigger pieces. So that's what I'm going to use for this tulip. And now this is the very cool part. It gives you a bigger size mat and it selects it by color. And for the brown, of course, it doesn't require you a big mat, but for the green, it requires you a big mat because the leaves are going to take more than 12 inches, which is the standard size mat. And the flowers, because it's so many petals, it's going to require you a bigger mat. Now, I don't have a cardstock that is this big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place two 12 by 12 cardstock and I'm moving the petals to fall in place. So the first four are going to be on the first cardstock right here. And then below it's going to be for the second cardstock. And for the middle part of the top lips, I don't have a problem. They're small, they fit perfectly fine because right here is where my cardstock is going to be. And for the leaves, I have a problem because my cardstock is 12 by 12. But I'm going to put one on top of the other and then I'm going to glue the leaves together. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's see. Right here, I'm cutting the leaves and I place two cardstock, one on top of the other. And now I just need to glue the bottom part and the top part together using this mounting tape. You can use glue or you can use double side tape as well. And that's going to be just fix the problem that we didn't have a bigger size cardstock for this size of leaves. And that's all I needed to do. So let me just show you now the exciting part. Assembling the petals, it's so easy. I'm using this mounting double side tape and I'm just gathering the tips on the bottom of the petals like this and I'm going to do that with all the petals. You can use double side tape, you can use glue, whatever it makes make it's easier for you. I think even hot glue will work. Just a little bit of hot glue will work really good. For the middle part of the tulips, I'm going to be using this floral wire to act as the stem and I'm going to glue it with hot glue, rolling everything this way. And the way to hold everything together is by inserting this circle part also through the stem and gluing all the petals to this circle. This is what's going to hold it together. That little circle holds everything together.
what I'm trying to do is I'm gluing the petals opposite ways so then when I see a gap I add more more petals in between And I'm going to be doing the same thing with a smaller size tulip. For this one I had these wood sticks and I'm using it as the stem. And I decided to use this crepe paper that I had in green to cover the wood and to cover the brown floral wire. In that way, it's going to look more realistic. And I'm using tape to secure it from time to time as I roll it all around. I think it came out so beautiful. Now it's time to add the leaves underneath and I'm going to be using hot glue. I really think you should try. I encourage you to look at design space in Cricut for projects like this. It was not hard to follow all the instructions. What do you think? It came out so beautiful. I'm looking forward to see how they're going to look at the preschool. Until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.